Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 21 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about the difference between flow and density when you're using the brush tool. All right, the best way I could put it is density is kind of like the master volume control for the tool. The higher the number, the more the tool gets applied, and we're going to demonstrate that in a more in a minute. Flow is kind of like how much paint you have in the brush. If you have a high number of flow, that means you have a lot of paint in the brush, and when you do a single brush stroke, a lot of paint will be applied. Of course, if you have a lower number in flow, less paint will be applied. Let's demonstrate. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to take feathering all the way down. I'm going to uncheck Auto Mask, and I'm going to go up here to Exposure and turn that all the way down so you can see what I'm painting. Okay, right now I have flow at 100 and density at 100. We're going to demonstrate flow first. I'm going to go up to the top of the canvas here and I'm going to get a relatively big brush and I'm just going to paint right across the top. And you can see that's one stroke right across with flow at 100, density at 100. Now, for comparison, I'm going to turn flow down to 25. I'm going to get a little smaller brush just so I can fit everything on here. And I'm going to do a stroke right across uh, the left hand side of this canvas. One stroke. Okay, you can see it's considerably lighter than the top stroke where I had flow at 100 and density at 100. This is flow at 25, density at 100. I'm going to do a second stroke. And you can see I could build on this. Every stroke adds more paint. Now I'm just going to add a bunch of strokes. I think I've added four so far and I'm just going to add it till it gets about the same darkness as this first stroke was. Okay, th that's about the same darkness. That was around 20 strokes uh, when I had flow at 25. So you could see how you could build um, on your strokes by using a low flow. Now, just for to demonstrate this, I'm going to put the flow at 75. Now, obviously, there's more paint on this brush now. So when I go across once, you can see it's considerably darker than this stroke was at 25, this first stroke was when I had it set at 25. So we're going to do a second, third, fourth. There's five strokes. You can see it's just about the same darkness as that was. All right, now, density. We're going to put flow up to 100, and density was at 100, and I did this stroke here, remember? Now I'm going to put density at 50. And I'm going to get a relatively big brush again. And I'm going to go over here to the left, and I'm just going to do one stroke right across. And you can see it's considerably lighter than it was up here. Well, I'm going to do a second stroke, a third, a fourth, a fifth. You can see it's not getting any darker. That's because the density is kind of the master volume control. I have it set at 50, and it's not going to get any darker than it is right now when I hit flow at 100. Now, just for sake of demonstration, let's leave density at 50, and we'll turn this flow down to 25, like it was in this uh, stroke right here. We'll get a smaller brush. So now we have flow at 25, which is identical to this, but density is only at 50, and we're going to do one stroke. You can see it's very light. We'll just do a bunch. You can see it's never, ever, ever going to get as dark as this. It's only going to get as dark as this because density is at 50. Um, it's kind of, as I mentioned, density is like the master volume control. Now the application for this. Let's say you have a sunset and you want to enhance the sunset. So you change your temp controls to warm the sunset for on the brush. You don't want to overdo it. So maybe you'll put density down to 50. So you'll that's kind of like the bookmark or the, the book end. It's never going to go past that. And you put flow relatively low, 10, 20. Do a stroke. It's not enough. Do another stroke. Then you could uh, really dial in the exact amount you want to apply to the image. And that's the the main um, functionality of flow and density, what you would use it for. Now most people when we're, you know, uh, 
whatever, we're enhancing our images. We'll keep density at 100. Uh, we might have flow relatively high too at 100. It's really up to you, but you could experiment with it. And if you don't like anything uh, that you brushed in, just hit the delete key and it's gone. And you could start over again. So I hope that was a decent explanation of what flow and density are and how you could use them in your images to enhance the scene. I'd like to thank everyone who watches my videos. Thank you very much. I truly do appreciate it. And I'd particularly, a little, particularly like to thank everyone that has purchased my presets. Um, because of you, it allows me to do all these free videos, and I really do like doing the videos. Thank you very much. And if you guys haven't already, if you could subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd truly appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.